we're continuing with this amazing story. Uh, we'll eat when we eat. So, so mm -hmm. you are supposed to look for a fashion capital. Yeah, so I decided um, because of the, yeah, like I said, the most important thing for me was language barrier. Mm. So I decided I was going to base myself in London. Okay. And then plus, of course, I came from a British school. Mm. Um, when people, when whoever, most of the, my friends that graduated from my school, of course, were in different places, different towns in England. Yep. So already I felt, I mean, I already had friends there. Mm. My, my friends were, you know, I had in Canterbury, there was some in, you know, in Manchester, Southampton, Manchester, yeah. you know, yeah. all these places, Brighton and all this. Mm. So I had friends, already my friends were already there. They didn't know I was coming though, because me, <laughs> you know, for them, they're already like, their fathers were like British, Amma. Of course, they had the finances. They have the finances to continue. Mm. So maybe I thought after Green State, I'm done. I will, you know, I will never. You know, Western world was not so out of touch. I will reach. Yeah, I was out of touch completely. While they already had a connection to the Western world mm. through finances, and also some of them were family, half British, yes. and so on. So me, I thought I was already done. I won't see my friends again, especially who have gone to the UK. Of course, I'm going to Tamani Pia, maybe to go out there. But I, of course. Kumbe God had another plan, another way. Uh, for a panya sure. route. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. God had a panya route for me. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so Nikajipata Apo, of course. And then you are modeling. Yeah, me I'm modeling. You, and I'm you not, are, eh. You're not at Uko in uni. No, so they're you're... coming to my house. Ooh. Eh, so so they're coming to my house. That is where we meet. We party. We, you know, that is where now the center of where people used to come to fit, to meet now in my place in London. Okay, and how are you making money now when you're in London? Now I'm in London, I'm proper. Now I'm proper, I'm, I'm working. You're a working model? I'm working model. So what, what, does, what does that mean? Give me an example. Um, uh, it means that when I, uh, uh, you get bookings now. I now mean, I'm, like bookings for what? Anything and everything? Anything, yeah. So it's, it's funny because, okay, maybe I can tell you this now. Um, Paris is high fashion purely, mm. which is fashion shows and magazines. So that's where you do your high fashion shows and that is where you build your portfolio. And that is where you now you increase your your rate mm. and credibility in the fashion industry. Because that is where all it's the, the big, capital of the world. Eh? Mm, that is where the capital the of fashion. The fashion capital of, mm. of the world, oh, yeah. So that's where girls go to build your book and uh, build your credibility in the fashion industry. Mm. Now you go to New York, New York is more like commercial. It goes a bit more commercial because mm. you find more a lot of more African Americans there. Mm. So you the the market is open for commercials okay. when it comes to black girls, yep. right? So you do the department stores like Macy's, okay. Target. You know, Paka was on Times Square in New York. Can you imagine mm. <laughs> that first that first year, first time I came? So I was on Times Square and so on. And then when you come to London. It's less, it's not as big as um, New, York. New York, Milan, and Milan is also just purely commercial, um, not commercial, high fashion, high fashion, high fashion. purely high fashion. Mm. So when you come to, to London now, it's not, now it's the least mm, of all of them, of, out of the four, mm, yeah, mm. it's the least. So here now it's like, you're just chilling, doing catalogs, doing catalogs, you know, um, uh -huh. commercial, commercial jobs here and there. It's many, but of course, smaller. Mm. But of course, I decided to base myself there because of the language barrier. It's easy to get to London. It's easy to get to Milan. It's easy to get to New York. So I used to travel. I based myself there and I used to travel from there. Yeah. Me, it was purely because of the language. And then plus my friends, one in it, were close by. And then it was one flight from home. So if I totally lost it and, you know, got a panic attack and I needed to go home, <laughs> I missed home. <laughs> Do you mean me? <laughs> and I did that a lot. It's just a flight away. And then, not even Nairobi, straight to Lodwa. <laughs> yani, I can be sitting, I can be in, in London, like, today, right? And I leave tonight. Tomorrow evening, I'll be sitting under a tree with my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> under the tree. <laughs> Namkeka. That was me. That yeah, was me. <laughs> mm, my, the goat, I didn't imagine. It was me. And I always knew I had that access. So I was just fine. Whenever I felt like it, phew, so Next, I don't even stop in Nairobi, straight to Lodwa. They, they, was was the pay enough yeah. that you're not worried about your bills? Um, or did it, did it get to places where you got scared? There was that insecurity. 
Mm. The biggest insecurity is that you don't know when your next job is going to is. You see, you're not guaranteed a job. Mm. You can stay for a month without, or I can get another one next week. You know, you never know. Okay. So that is the insecurity when it comes to modeling, which is which I found and, and I still find very uncomfortable. Mm. That's why I had to leave the industry, come, as establish myself, secure myself, mm. um, find a more secure um, grounding financially, and then now I can go back now. I get it. You give me a job, you don't give me a job. Mm, I you get see? it. I get it. So, yeah, that is why I had to leave to come establish myself financially and just for my own mental health, you see. Mm. Just mm. so mm. I'm secure mentally mm. and financially, I had to do that. Now I can go back and I'm free. You know, I'm not, I don't have that pressure. Okay. Yes. So that was it. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, so yes, you, you make, you make money, uh -huh. you make a big chunk of money now, and then, you know, you have rent, you have things, even me, me, I'm a, you know, I, I, want, a, I want a new phone, I need a computer, yeah. so, gee, I'm sending money home, yep, yep. you know, and so on. So it wasn't sustainable. Mm. It's not, it, hasn't been, it, it hasn't been sustainable. And, and you haven't gotten the level where, where, what am I trying to say? Where you, are you, is there a ceiling that you've hit? Actually, that's what I'm trying to ask. Because why is it that it appears to be this glamorous, glamorous lifestyle out there that models are doing hundreds and thousands of dollars? Sorry to bust your bubble. It's not true. It's not true. So, yeah, I will go. I'll get into a shoot. I will, I mean, I'll be shooting jewelry worth millions to the point where I have security guards following me in the shoot, mm. you know, so I don't swallow <laughs> or <laughs> eh, I don't feature. There's people like following. There's a security guard in every corner watching yep. the makeup artist, watching the model, watching the photographer. What? Because you're shooting millions yes. of dollars. Aha. Mm. That's the food. Okay, okay, okay. Money,